Hello Bakers, today we are going to talk about a very important concept, deck oven versus convection oven. Many times we've been asked by bakers, why should I buy a convection oven and when should I buy a deck oven? The answer is simple. We will see the advantages of convection oven over the deck oven and also we will check the, adv the, the advantages of the deck oven over convection oven. Depending on the application, you will understand at the end of this presentation that there are times you might need to get a deck oven and there are instances that you need to get a convection oven. Generally speaking, convection ovens, uh, Bakewave introduced them seven years ago on a commercial scale, like this size behind me here. And you can clearly see uh, inside. And the most important thing, even before we go further, you can clearly see this, uh, the size, the width is about 1.2 meters. This one we're talking about uh, 1.5, 1.8 meters uh, width. And it, the first issue is deck uh, convection ovens has more capacity, more output, but on a less space. For example, this takes about 12 trays, okay? 12 trays, this takes about nine trays. But you can see this because it's three trays per deck. So it's nine trays versus 12 trays, but you can see it's smaller size and this bigger size. Why is this important? Because if you are in, in, a, in a supermarket, a hot bread uh, shop, or if you are in a, a, a squeezed place, a hot bread or uh, cake or, or uh, bakery, it means that space is very critical. One of the things that we have seen in the last seven years, we've set up almost 50, 50 uh, plus uh, convection ovens in supermarkets across Kenya. It's the issue of space. They always have an issue with space. There is no enough space to, to do the setup. And that's why convection ovens became very important because they occupy less space, but they are able to do more output. So that is that one advantage of a convection oven over a deck oven. Second advantage is you can clearly see inside, uh, my technician is here, he will demonstrate that convection oven, they use a fan system they use the fan system to uh, distribute the heat. When we switch on the fan, you can see. So, it uses convection currents to spread the heat in the chamber. That's okay. And so, this is a very important feature because it allows for very fast, very effective, very efficient way of heat distribution and therefore makes the convection oven faster as opposed to a deck oven. And if it is faster, therefore it saves more power because you bake at a lesser time as opposed to uh, deck ovens. And let's see, for the deck oven on the other hand, as you can see, it has a lower deck, a lower temperature and upper temperature. There are coils below and there are coils up, heating coils, and therefore, heat flows to the product uh, through conduction from this metal to your tin or to your tray. This conduction way of heating is slower, it's slower and takes more time as opposed to the hot air convection uh, way of heating where hot air moves up and down. But this, there is nothing to circulate the heat. It's just passing the heat from the metal to your tin or to your bread. However, this is a disadvantage when you are doing uh, products <coughs> like bread or uh, let's say cookies and so on and so on because if you are not able to set the below temperature properly it, it can cause the below the bottom of your product whether it's cookies or bread it will burn it's turn dark in color because of excess heat if you are not able to control the temperature as well however it does not mean that that is a that is the only uh, disadvantage. That is an advantage if you are doing very thick cakes. For example, you are doing a very thick cake, birthday cakes, or this kind of thick cakes, maybe 10 centimeters or more, and the only oven that can be able to bake properly, to do well as far as that is concerned, is the deck oven. The reason is the heat passes directly from the metal to your tin without any disturbance and that is the best way to bake a cake 
and therefore the best machine to bake very thick cakes would be the oven. However, the convection oven can also bake thick cakes, but not as good as a deck oven would do it. So the, that's the advantage of a deck oven over this, over a convection oven. Uh, the other thing we have to see, you can clearly see from here, is that you can see this oven has one temperature control gadget and one timer, okay? For example, you can demonstrate here, uh, this is steaming option, so the timer is here. So if I set the time here, and the temperature here, I will control everything which is baking here in one go from a central point, from this and that. However, look at the uh, deck oven. I need to master the upper temperature because of the upper coils and the lower temperature because of the lower coils. So this is, makes it a bit complex. The reason is, if I am not well mastered the both temperatures, I will not be able to control my, my product well and therefore the baking time and uh, quality might be affected. So the, this allows you to have easy time when you are baking because you just set from one, 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 one point and you go to do other, other work. Assuming you have products in three decks, three different products, it means you need to set six different temperatures and to master this. So this is the complexity when it comes to deck oven. However, as they say, every dark cloud has a silver lining. That is also an advantage depending on what you are baking. For example, you have less number of products which you want to bake and these products require different temperatures. It means the only oven that can do that for you is a deck oven because each day you can set independent temperature and independent timing and therefore each deck behaves as an oven on its own so it's like it's three deck oven but we have three ovens in one however as you can see from the convection oven this is not possible because you have to, uh, to set one temperature and one time it therefore means you can only pick one product at a time and therefore that's an advantage of the deck oven over the convection oven on the same note, uh, to explain further, is that this uh, will, if you are having less product, this will automatically save you power because you will not need to use the other decks. But if you have less product and you want to bake, let's say two trays instead of the 12 trays, it means you bake at a higher cost of power. And therefore, depending on your baking type, if you are that, uh, fast, uh, fast shop, fast bakery shop, hot bread cake shop, baking so many products at the same time, small, small products, then a deck oven would be ideal for that. So, and finally, I need to emphasize that deck oven is cheaper, almost 50% the price as opposed to convection ovens. They are more expensive and therefore it's another issue you need to consider. However, in general, on general perspective, convection ovens will consume less than the deck oven on a general perspective. Probably 30% less than the deck oven. So, as you can see, depending on which products you're doing, depending on your situation, you need to make the right decision and to know is the deck oven right for me or the convection oven right machine for me. So I hope after this video, you are more informed and you will be able to make better decisions when it comes to choosing the right oven for your work. Thank you so much for watching this episode and remember to subscribe to our videos for more such important content that is coming. See you next episode.